Namaste. My name is Preeti Upala, and I am a global thought leader and a multimedia personality. Welcome to my podcast, The Preeti Experience. Join me as I explore some of the most fascinating and crucial issues that affect our world today. I take a unique global perspective on these issues and the very foundation of my insights is humanity and spirituality. I'm Preeti Upala and welcome, welcome to the to Preeti, Preeti experience. experience. This week's topic is what does the feminine want from the masculine? Do men honor the feminine? Do women feel loved and cherished? Are women fulfilled emotionally and sexually? Where are men not getting it right? Where have we lost our way? One of the most pertinent issues of our time is equality, specifically gender parity and women's rights. Despite enjoying more freedom and rights than ever before in the history of our human existence, women today are struggling to fully embody and express their true feminine nature. With the advent of the recent radical feminist movement, women are less content or fulfilled than ever before. Feminism in the 21st century in the West seems to have morphed into something very unpalatable. It has suddenly turned into a man-hating, male-bashing, venomous, entitlement-driven, hard machinery driven by identity politics and toxic intersectionality called the fifth wave of radical feminism. Seems like feminism today has a branding problem. It doesn't take into account that men and women are different, that they are not supposed to be the same, that each has their own spiritual purpose, and one marries perfectly into the other. In this pursuit of equality of outcome, we are finding a reversal of the gender balance where the women are becoming harder, the men softer, and almost ashamed of their inherent masculine power. This leaves women yearning for the divine masculine, which they feel they now have to generate within themselves. This is due to the absence of real masculinity in the men around them, and when a woman is forced to be the man, she is unable to be her true feminine self. Both the left and the right politicize and weaponize feminism, and activists have hijacked this movement for their own agenda and political gain. They are replacing toxic masculinity with a different version of toxic femininity. Ultimately, Men and women are mirrors to each other and are here to merge together. As a woman myself, and someone who has done a lot of study on this issue, I want to explore five key elements that the feminine really seeks from the masculine today. Number one, facets are assets. Women still want a man who is confident of who he is and more importantly, of what he wants. He needs to know what kind of partner he is looking for. This makes him more appealing and attractive. We want you to know what kind of woman you want. A woman is like a diamond. She has many facets onto herself, polished and unpolished. It is the man's job to make a list of these facets that are so important to him, so he knows how and where to find the diamond that he's looking for. Facets ultimately become assets. If the woman has the facets that a man is looking for, 
but are not polished, it is his job to inspire her to polish them so that he can get the diamond of his choice. When you don't know what you want, how will you know where to find it and how will you identify it when it is right in front of you? Clue. You can't find the woman of your dreams if you don't know what you're looking for and what questions to ask. Number two. The devil is in the details. Women love details. We want a man that pays attention. All the money and charm in the world will mean nothing if you don't show that you're paying attention to her. Trust me, we know when a man cares enough or not. It's actually rather obvious. Some women may appear to go along with this even if the sincerity is not there, but they are not under any illusion that it is. They go along despite this fact, and this never lasts long regardless. Paying attention may seem like a small thing, but it means a lot to women. Whether it is a first date, a long-term relationship, or even 10 years of marriage, learn how to take mental notes and remember them for the duration of the relationship as they will be used against you in the future. Number three, sex on the brain. The sexiest organ in the human body is the brain. So you better use it or lose it, baby. Sex for women is never really physical. It's more emotional and mental. For men, initially it's always physical, but then it does morph into something more emotional once a bond has been established, usually through intimacy, but not always. It comes down to how you make her feel, little things. We want to hear and feel that we are special and unique and the one. Number four, femininity is the key. Women want the man to allow her to be her feminine self. It is a myth to say that we need you to provide us protection or security, especially these days. We are not in the caveman period anymore. Men are not expected to go out there and hunt for food. And the woman is not waiting for her knight in shining armor back in the cave. We have evolved, thankfully. We have moved on and our relationships have changed. However, on an emotional, biological and a subconscious level, men are still expected to be a protector and a savior just in case. There is a delicate dance to be had between the yin and the yang, the shiva and the shakti, the masculine and the feminine. It needs to be just right. You can be too macho or too soft. Both are unappealing and turn us off. The true feminine essence is to be sensual, open, sexual, soft, vulnerable, and erotic and it is your job to create the space to allow us to be our true female self number five know what you bring to the table women are looking for a man who knows who he is confidence is still very sexy it would be a lie to say otherwise we would get very bored very quickly we are looking for confidence and strength in a man, but not overt confidence, more of a quiet strength and inner assuredness. Take inventory of human qualities or facets that you possess. Then start to prepare and polish those facets into assets and make them available. Make sure you let the woman of your desire know. Don't keep it a secret. Women are not mind readers. Please show and tell. At the same time, also make a list of qualities that you would like in a woman. It's remarkable how many times even the most highly successful and effective men struggle to come up with 10 things on their list. And finally, to tie it all together, always remember that communication is the key. It is mandatory that you 
must be willing to be forthright and engaged in positive communication for the duration of your relationship and or your marriage period. Positive communication is the key to, as I call it, modern social compromising. Listen, pay attention, ask questions, be direct and show that you care. Help paint a picture in the woman's mind and sincerely draw her to you with your authenticity and honesty. May you pick the woman of your choice and tango the night away. By your parents or by other people for yourself. And maybe when, you, when your calling comes, you can, uh, you can adjust to the needs of the world.